Ah, oh, well you look at that. My video has 81 views. That makes me so happy here. Let's see what's in the in the recommended section. Wait. Hold on, before you dislike this video. Hi, I'm Sky. nice to meet you. Uh, oh, okay, you're angry. Of course I'm angry. If you're making fun of a childhood game that I grew up with, obviously, I'm going to get angry. In my opinion, Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 is the worst Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, 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 correction, correction, uh, Rechain of Memories is literally the worst game ever. You have to play with cards. You have to fight with cards. Yes, that's how you attack, which is stupid. That's not how a Kingdom Hearts game should work. Also, I think, uh, that one, that one 3DS game isn't that great either. But it's mostly Chain of Memories. That's the worst game. But please, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're angry, curious, or whatever, let me know in the comment section. I bet you won't. <laughs> oh, oh, I will. I, I, in fact, I'm going to right now. You see me, I'm typing right, yeah. See? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, you know what? There. Ha! Oh, would you look at that? There goes a crack on the floor. Ooh, what a pretty crack. Oh, here goes a scratch on the wall. Must be super important, and I must know this. A crack on the wall? What are, you, what are you talking about? When I play this game, I do not remember a single crack on the wall. Here, I even Googled it. Do you see? Google images. Nothing. Okay, I think you're just making this up. I, I don't remember this at all. I think the worst part about these missions is that they're not optional. You have to look around at the smallest details in these worlds in order to continue the game. No, you don't. You don't have to look at every single detail. Wh what are you talking about? You don't have to. That's like going on a roller coaster and once you hit the top, the ride stops. It won't continue until you count every piece of railing on the ride. It just slows down the pacing of this game so much. Okay, it has quote unquote slow pacing. Well, maybe they don't want to give you the answer on a silver platter right in front of your face. Maybe Maybe they want you to stand and maybe think about how to beat the level. I understand your complaint with this since Kingdom Hearts in general isn't a puzzle game, especially Kingdom Hearts Days. So I understand your complaint, but come on. The pacing in this game, the pacing in this game is terrible. The pacing in this game is terrible? I'm sorry, but have you played any of the Kingdom Hearts games? Diamond to the Heart is a perfect example of this. The pacing is slow in some parts, yes, but that's true for every Kingdom Hearts game. How have you not noticed? Kingdom Hearts Days takes the cake for being the slowest in terms of pacing. Well, see, here's the thing. There's this magical thing called, oh, I don't know, dialogue. Maybe that's the reason for the slow pacing. Maybe to introduce the characters, to give them an actual personality. Usual Kingdom Hearts rewards you with some excellent cutscenes or dialogue between the characters. Almost after every mission, you get a small 10 second cutscene of the gang eating ice cream. Sometimes they don't even say anything to each other. Other times, it's completely worthless information between the three. Like, why do I need to know this? It's not valuable information that makes me appreciate the characters more. It's just information that makes them super boring. Of course, this is called character development. Of course it seems boring at the start. You're just learning about these new characters. Reason number three. The bosses of this game. Oh my goodness. If you look at pretty much any top five- Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to, I have to stop you right there. Uh, that boss right there, that took me forever to beat. This fight is almost as difficult, if not more so, than the Sephiroth fight. And if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Each of these bosses either take way too long to kill, or require you chase them down and hit them little by little. Chasing a Heartless isn't fun. Getting two swings after planning your position of attack is not fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the big boss too difficult to beat in one try? Well, that's how bosses are supposed to be in video games. Reason number four, Xion. Um, what's wrong with Xion? Personally, I thought she was a great character. It's nice to have a new character added to Organization 13 that you literally know nothing about. Back in the day, she was one of my favorite characters, but a friend of mine changed my opinion about her real quick. Okay, let's be honest. Close your eyes real quick. Now, what I want you to do is think of the scene that Xion is in. Now, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm going to assume that most of you were thinking about the scene where Xion dies. No, actually, I thought of the scene where Xion, Roxas, and Axel were sitting on the clock tower eating ice cream. So, the emotional impact of her death was removed to our heroes. Okay, that's fine. But the emotional impact of her death still affected us, the player. But keep in mind, if Xion didn't die, no one would care about her. Um... I care about her. Yes, I know I know she's a fictional character, but she she's a good one. She's a good fictional character. The only thing the fandom really associate with Chion is her death. Whoa, 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 hold on. The only thing rememberable was her death? 
What about all those scenes where you literally showed her in the game? What about all those? As a standalone character, she's extremely boring. And that's usually why people say Kingdom Hearts Days is their favorite game. Because people associate the entire story with just the ending. The feeling they got with the ending is what makes them think that Days was overall a good story. When in reality, it was very subpar, and Xion's death is really the only thing memorable about it. Personally, for me, the most memorable part of this game is the fact that you can play as Mickey, and the multiplayer was the best thing ever, especially when you get to play as Mickey. Before the video ends, I just want to say that I'm not angry at all. No hate to this guy. He actually seems like a pretty cool guy by the one video I saw from him. So check him out. Also, I have a playlist of Kingdom Hearts videos and a, a random playlist that somehow relates to this video somehow. So check those out. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Please. That, that'd be really cool. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Tune in next week for another video.